welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. sweaty, I am cold, and I'm going to get showered and cleaned up, and then we will chat after that. And you better believe I'm putting back on my pajamas and robe. It is before 10 a.m., and I'm feeling very productive. I went ahead and finished baking off a couple more cookies, so I made some snickerdoodles and some peanut butter cookies with Hershey Kisses. I might make one more cookie today, which are my grandmother's homemade chocolate chip cookies. And then I have a load of laundry going, I already went to the gym, and now I'm just making myself like a little breakfast sandwich for breakfast because I am starving. I think to have accomplished all of that before 10 a.m. is pretty good. Um, I just got cleaned up, so I'm nice and cozy in my robe and my pajamas, and then I just threw on some of the La Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum to kind of moisturize my face. We were out in the wind a lot yesterday, and I noticed I'm super dry, so went ahead and did that as well. Good start to a Sunday. We have hit 20,600. So we are on our way to 21,000. I'm trying to decide what my goal is going to be for 2018. I'm thinking I wanna do 35,000, the goal for 2018. I think that sounds like a realistic and strong goal. Just coming through and reading comments. Just so you guys know, for Vlogmas, it is impossible for me to answer and respond to every single one because you guys are amazing and um, commenting so much. But you will see that I put a heart next to each of them, and that's just to show you that I have read all of them. So just know that after Vlogmas is slowed down and I'm not like editing and uploading on the day every day, um, that... I will go back to answering as many as I can. The video of snow made it seem so Christmassy. I agree, Jacqueline. It was so Christmassy there. We loved it. Although the drive home was a little scary. Shay, you said lefties are notorious pen nerds. It's so true. So many of you are also talking about like, you're going to be missing Vlogmas. I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about it because I'm going to miss Vlogmas too. And I have thought and toyed with the idea of vlogging the whole way through December, but I need a second to just relax and not be holding a camera and not spend a night editing and uploading. So I'm going to vlog today clearly Christmas Eve and I'm going to vlog tomorrow Christmas Day. But then I'm going to take the rest of that week off into New Year's. Um, but know that during that week I plan on filming a 2018 planner with my infinite agenda and setup. And I also plan on filming my 17 top favorites for 2017. And then I'm really going to sit and evaluate like what does my filming schedule look like so I can do something that's really consistent for all of you in 2018. I, I have just a lot of ideas. <laughs> I have so many ideas. And I just need to step away and really think about like scoping them out and really building out like a really great plan and a systematized launch of videos on a weekly basis that is really thoughtful and clever that also encompasses so many of the topics that you all want to cover. So just know that although I'll be taking some days off that there's a lot of work around the channel going on behind the scenes. Rhonda, you've inspired me just in the weeks that I've been a subscriber. So yesterday I paid for the person behind me at Starbucks and randomly picked a young woman working at a gas station and gifted her some Christmas money. My heart felt so good, and I think I will continue to do this even after Christmas. Another great random act of kindness to do, and it's so much fun, is in your checkout line, grab a gift card and have them load it with like five, 10, $15, whatever you want. And on your way out of the store, and people are coming in, just pick one random person to give the gift card to and just tell them to have a good day. It blows their minds, and it's really cool. I'm gonna keep it really low key and just watch movies and relax and clean the house and make sure everything is perfect for Christmas morning. All my gifts are wrapped, everything is done. Steven said he still has to go to the mall. So, I don't know what he's up to. All right, friends, I'm gonna catch up with you a little later. All right. 
time to open some advent calendars today. All right, rituals, day 24. Light the final advent candle on the fourth Sunday as a wish for peace. All right. I'm also, I guess I was supposed to already open this one, but called Santa's Secret. Aww. There's a little David's tea ornament, which is like this little beautiful metal star. You guys asked, and my favorites are the cranberry white bark tea, sleigh ride, the hot chocolate one, strawberry rhubarb. Top four favorites of David's tea from the advent calendar are those four. <laughs> oh, and Stephen really liked candy cane. Puzzle is done, and it made this little cute winter scene. Day 24, orange sanguine. 24. Ugh. It's vanilla. What I love about Diptyque's vanilla candle is it also has like a smoky, intense side. So it's not straight vanilla. There's definitely a smoke to it. We still have one more day of Diptyque. All right. We got Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Honey scented streams of Brazilian orange and bergamot waltz with swirling golden stars. What a description. Mm. It does smell really, really good. Um, so much fun opening and sharing those with you. I would highly, highly recommend everyone rushing out in October next year and buying the Rituals Advent Calendar. I know I will be. All right, friends. A lot of you have asked about the fact, um, are my family coming? And the answer is no. We were all together for Thanksgiving, which that means my sister drove up from North Carolina. We drove over to Ohio and met at my parents. And for Christmas, my sister is not making the drive again that close, um, especially with three kids and two dogs to worry about. Um, so she's staying home for Christmas. My parents decided to have something really low key in Ohio and Stephen and I were just like you know what we will hang out here we had toyed with the idea of traveling for Christmas but with just everything going on and life being so chaotic it felt nice to stay home a little bit I am also thinking about seeing if I can sneak to the movie theater and get tickets for Star Wars tonight for Stephen because he really really wants to see it but um I don't know. Steven just got back. Tell them what you had to do. Um, I am well versed in picking things up from parking lots that get lost because of him, but I lost our gift card that we gave to our neighbors uh, to the movies, uh, and somebody turned uh, the gift card in at BJ's. That was kind of them. Oh. They, I wonder if they're part of the kindness community. Guess what I did? What? We have two tickets to go see Star Wars tonight. Oh. At 7.30. Oh wow! So that you, and that is a gift because that's the last movie I want to see. Is it 3D or I couldn't get the 3D one because it only they stopped showing it at five. Oh, okay. But I figured you can go back and watch the 3D okay, one. Okay, that's fine. They're only doing the standard one at 7:30, and then they're closing the theater. Oh, so we're going at 7:30? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because the 5:30 was way too early. Yeah. But that's the last 3D showing. Oh, great! I can't wait. I just finished putting their basket together and I just did like a little red ornament and red ribbon. And then some gifts in there for their daughter, some popcorn, some candy, and two large parent bowls and two kid bowls because they're expecting their second child. So I didn't want to forget them. And then in the card I talk about whether you want to have a movie night at home or a night out you have everything you need. So I also enclosed a gift card to our local movie theater. So we have like this little movie themed basket and the basket is really pretty. And yeah, so that is ready to go. I'm just finishing up some chocolate chip cookies. I didn't feel like filming everything. Um, I think the secret to chocolate chip cookies is a little bit of almond extract. They give it a different taste really great. I use some chopped pecans, some chopped walnuts, really good quality chocolate chips, and yeah, those are finishing up. We're gonna hang out here tonight and have a nice quiet Christmas Eve, and then at 7.30, I'm taking Steven to see Star Wars, which I am not excited about. I've seen one other Star Wars movie, and that was with him, 
but it's something he really wants, so I'll do it, and I'll sit through it, and grin and bear it, and then we're just going to hang out here. That's it. Um, all right, I am going to go ahead and chill out for a little bit. I just woke up from a nap, and it is now going on 5 o'clock. So Stephen and I are just going to have a little bit of dinner, and then we're going to go to the movies and just spend some time together. It is a low-key Christmas Eve, but I'm wishing you all the happiest, happiest of holidays, and I will end this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. It is the season of giving, so give it to everyone. Until next time, which is tomorrow.